Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. In this video, we will focus on refining a base nozzle grid to suit the flow physics in and around the bell nozzle. Prior to this video, we have a few tutorial videos on how to create a multi-block mesh on nozzles. The links to these videos can be found in the description. Nozzles are the end component of a propulsion system. The design of the nozzle plays a critical role. Though there are various types of nozzles, the bell nozzles are widely preferred. This is primarily due to its minimal weight with maximum performance. The flow field in and around the rocket nozzles are complex as multiple high gradient flow physics develop and interact with each other. These flow physics keeps changing with variation in pressure ratio as the rocket ascends from the launch pad to the outer fringes of the earth atmosphere. The complexity of the flow field makes the grid generation a challenging task. This is the base topology and its corresponding grid. Typically, the far field domain is determined with respect to the throat radius. On a general note from various CFD studies on rocket nozzles, it is understood that the axial distance should be 80 to 90 times the throat radius and in radial direction, it should be 70 to 80 times. So here, I have chosen 90x throat radius for the axial distance and radial distance as 80x throat radius. Before we start refining the mesh, Let's have a look into the flow physics. The rocket nozzle undergoes three different flow conditions. That is over expansion, ideal expansion and under expansion. Over expansion occurs at the sea level where the ambient pressure is higher than the exit pressure. The ideal expansion occurs at optimum altitude where the ambient pressure equals the exit pressure. The under expansion occurs at high altitude where the exit pressure is higher than the ambient pressure. There would be an efficiency loss in both over expansion and under expansion stages. However, the ideal expansion maximizes the efficiency. In order to capture the flow phenomena due to these three conditions, we will have to refine the grid in all three regions. In Grid Pro, we can refine the grid in various ways. I will explain them as we go along. The most critical flow physics happens inside the diverging part of the nozzle. So having a fine mesh in this region is essential. This region can be refined by increasing the cells of those blocks. In Grid Pro, the block boundaries move based on the density. So in order to contain the refinement, we can freeze the block boundaries at either end of the diverging part. Now moving further to the downstream of the flow. This is the region where we encounter the shock diamond, MAC disc and the expansion fan. To capture the region with a fine mesh and prevent the refine to propagate radially, we can do a local refinement using nesting as shown here. With these modifications, the grid is now good to be exported to any CFD solver for computation. This brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or you want us to post any specific tutorials, please leave your comments below or write to us on Twitter. The social media links can be found in the description. Do subscribe to the channel to get updates on new videos.